welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamari. I just want to say thank you for clicking on this video. If you want to see how I got this surgery gone wrong look, keep on watching. Also, make sure you like, comment, share, and definitely, definitely subscribe as number one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hello, beautifuls. We're starting off with a bare, fresh face. Next, we're going to do our brows, and we're going in with the B-Bell Eyebrow Gel in Medium Brown, and also going in with the Creaseless Concealer by Tarte in Medium Neutral. Next, I'll be going in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Natural Neutral. You can find these at any of your Walmart, Walgreens, or Targets. Next, I'll be going in with my All May Pen Eyeliner in Black. In the next clip, you'll notice that I have eyelashes on. The brand for those eyelashes are called AOA Studio, and they are in the pair called Chloe. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Amber Lee's Moisturizer, and for the foundation, I am wearing Maybelline Fit Me 230 Natural Buff in the Dewy Smooth Formula. Next, I'll be using the same powder that I used to set my eyes to set my face with. This is, again, the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Natural Neutral. It's a mystery. Yeah. Moving on to eyes, I will be using the 88 Original Palette by Coastal Scents. The colors that I'll be using are the yellow, green, red, pink, purples, and blues. Six colors. These six colors are all going to create the bruising and illusion that I need for this look. Okay, cut. Let's do it. You guys, tell me for real, for real, how long it takes you to get ready. Because just by watching this video, this video is almost two to three hours long because I kept dancing and singing. 
Jesus Lord. No wonder my husband hates when I do my makeup. <laughs> Next, I'll be going in with my e.l.f. eyeliner pen in black. I'll be using this to create the illusion of the incision marks where the surgeon is supposed to go into. Next, I'll be going in with the Elmer's Washable No Run School Glue. I'm using this instead of the liquid latex because it was cheaper and I want to show you guys an affordable way to do Halloween looks. With this glue, I am taking a basic paintbrush I got from Walmart for like $1.99, I believe. And I'm just putting this everywhere around my face where I think is necessary. Um, this Elmer's glue is just going to make the face look like it's peeling off. It's good for creating visuals. It's just really awesome all around. You 
The next best thing for Halloween looks is using toilet paper or napkins. You put this on with your Elmer's glue. It gives the best, 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 best illusions ever. It makes the skin look like it's falling apart. It just looks very nasty and weird, but I love it. Right now I'm just fanning my face for the glue to dry. This next clip, I totally apologize. My camera totally died on me, which kind of sucks. But right now I'm just going in with the black and red grease paint that I picked up from Walmart in the Halloween section. They were 98 cents each. So, yeah. Next, I'll be going in with the Halloween bottle of blood. I got it for $5 and the blood scab from Walmart. I got it for $2. And I'm just going to be placing that wherever I think I need blood at. Listen, all I can say, the more blood, the better. We just got back from surgery. We wanted a new nose, new lips, new face. So be happy with what you got, boo. I'm writing a report. I'm writing a review. You're gonna get zero stars from me. Look at this. It's been five weeks and my eye still hasn't healed. Look at my 